Good evening and welcome to this quiet and reflective service for Maundy Thursday in which we think about Jesus and his servant ministry. During the service we watch as Tim strips the altar bare and a thank you to Tim and Amanda for filming this and making it possible for us to take part in this important act of symbolism on this special evening. The service will finish with Compline after the stripping of the altar and there'll be a short period of silence after that and then I will end the service so we won't chat at the end, I'm afraid. So we sit now in silence as we prepare to witness this evening with our Lord. We begin the service by singing our first hymn this evening, An Upper Room Did Our Lord Prepare. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you. And also with you. So we come to a time of confession. Our Lord Jesus Christ says, If you love me, keep my commandment. Unless I wash you, you have no part in me. Let us confess to Almighty God our sins against his love and ask him to cleanse us as we sing. We have a time of quiet to recall our wrongdoing. May the Father forgive us by the death of his Son and strengthen us to live in the power of the Spirit all our days. Amen. And the Collect. God, our Father, your Son, Jesus Christ, was obedient to the end. 
and drank the cup prepared for him. May we who share his table watch him through the night of suffering and be faithful. Amen. And now Leslie will read the Gospel reading. Now before the festival of the Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart from this world and go to the Father. Having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. The devil had already put into the heart of Judas, son of Simon Iscariot, to betray him. And during supper, Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands, and that he had come from God and was going to God, got up from the table, took off his outer robe and tied a towel around himself. Then he poured water into the basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel that was tied around him. He came to Simon Peter who said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus said, you do not know now what I am doing, but later you will understand. Peter said, you will never wash my feet. Jesus said to him, unless I wash you, you have no share with me. Lord, said Peter, not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. Jesus said, one who has bathed does not need to wash, except for the feet, but is entirely clean, and you are clean, though not all of you. For he knew who was to betray him. For this reason he said, not all of you are clean. After he'd washed their feet, had put on his robe, and had returned to the table he said to them do you know what i've done done to you you call me teacher and lord and you are right for that is what i am so if i your lord and teacher have washed your feet you also ought to wash one another's feet for i have set you an example that you also should do as i have done to you Really, truly, I tell you, servants are not greater than their master, nor are messengers greater than the one who sent them. If you know these things, you are blessed if you do them. Now the Son of Man has been glorified, and God has been glorified in him. If God has been glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself and will glorify him at once. Little children, I am with you only a little longer. You will look for me, and as I said to the Jews, so now I say to you, where I am going, you cannot come. I give you a new commandment that you love one another, just as I have loved you. You should love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you love one another. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. A time of quiet meditation. If you wish, cup your hands and imagine Jesus pouring his living water into your hands, cleansing, healing and forgiving. Lift your hands in silent praise for God's grace, God's riches at Christ's expense.
as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. They parted his garments among them, and for his clothing they cast lots.
when the disciples had sung a hymn, they went out on the Mount of Olives. Jesus prayed to the Father. If it is possible, take this cup from me. He said to his disciples, how is it that you were not able to keep watch with me for one hour? The hour has come for the Son of Man to be handed over to the power of sinners. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. we sing before the ending of the day. Psalm 139, verses 1 to 18. O Lord, you have searched me out and know me. You know my sitting down and my rising up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You mark out my journeys and my resting place and are acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word on my tongue, but you, O Lord, know it altogether. You encompass me behind and before, and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, so high that I cannot attain it. 
Where can I go then from your spirit? Or where can I flee from your presence? If I climb up to heaven, you are there. If I make the grave my bed, you are there also. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me. Your right hand hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will cover me and the light around me turn to night. Even darkness is no darkness with you. The night is as clear as the day. Darkness and light to you are both alike. For you yourself created my inmost parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I thank you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvellous are your works, my soul knows well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in secret and woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes beheld my form as yet unfinished. Already in your book were all my members written. As day by day they were fashioned, when as yet there was none of them. How deep are your counsels to me, O God? How great is the sum of them? If I count them, they are more in number than the sand, and at the end I am still in your presence. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. A reading from Zechariah. I will pour out a spirit of compassion and supplication on the house of David and the inhabitants of Jerusalem, so that when they look on the one whom they have pierced, they shall mourn for him as one mourns for an only child, and weep bitterly over him as one weeps over a firstborn. This is the word of the Lord. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord, God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord. I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Let us pray. <clears throat> Father.
Father, on this, the night he was betrayed, your son, Jesus Christ, washed his disciples' feet. We commit ourselves to follow his example of love and service. Lord, hear us and humble us. On this night, he prayed for his disciples to be one. We pray for the unity of your church. Lord, hear us and unite us. On this night, he prayed for those who were to believe through their message. We pray for the mission of your church. Lord, hear us and renew our zeal. On this night, he commanded them to love, but suffered rejection himself. We pray for the rejected and unloved. Lord, hear us and fill us with your love. On this night, he reminded his disciples that if the world hated them, it hated him first. We pray for those who are persecuted for their faith. Lord, hear us and give us your peace. On this night, he accepted the cup of death and looked forward to the new wine of the kingdom. We remember those who have died in the peace of Christ. Lord, hear us and welcome all your children into paradise. Amen. In peace will we lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus. For the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. Restore us again, O God of hosts. Show us the light of your countenance, and we shall be saved. Bless and keep us, this night and always. Amen.